Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Tower here at Orient's Rock 50, and today we're going to be doing a bit of exploring. Yes, by exploring, I mean exploring in the caves. Apparently it says mountain terrain, but this one's slightly different than the other mountains. Look, this one's a cave, and these are mountains. So yeah, there's a bit of a difference here. There's Bloomstone Reward, we got the Ace, the Darling, and the Farm Restricted, but the Ice is favored. So, uh, let's give this a try. So, as soon as this loads, you guys will get to see the map here, and you'll see why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so look at this map. This is, without a doubt, the hardest map in the game. Maybe, except for the Phase Crystals map, since it's like four maps, but four paths, but this one is just insanely hard. The hardest one in the game. So, first of all, three paths here. There, and they kind of go the same route. This one loops around here and goes out here. This one also loops around here and goes out here. But this one does not loop around this area. This one just goes straight to the exit. So three, very tough pass. We gotta figure out how to defend it. More webs come. It is medium difficulty, but this is a very hard tile. And this is gonna be insane. I hope we can beat it. Let's go. So... I'm gonna start with my ice towers. Just cause they're favored here. I should have more ice towers here, but I don't. I should actually probably get some more soon, I suppose. And I'll get those to there. And I'll get a spike factory at the end. Cause ice spike factory combo is actually very, very useful. I would suggest, recommend all you guys do it, do it if you can. And also my free dart monkey. Oh, how cute. I got that item in the chest where I get a dart monkey for free. And oh my gosh, I've been loving it. He's like my best friend now. We do everything together. We, uh, we go out, we eat, we clean the house together. You know, we, uh... We uh, have our little happy time in the corner. What? I didn't say anything. But, yeah, th this guy, he's like my best friend, man. Take him everywhere. Put him out right away. Because, I mean, why not? He's freaking free. <laughs> so, yeah, round one's been defeated. Not that hard, to be completely honest. Um, I'm getting my spike factory up. Because these guys are not going to be able to pop everything. They'll get most of the stuff. Or most of the balloons, but not everything. I kind of wish I had more ice towers so I could jam them together and basically ice shred. Since it's kind of harder here on this map, but I can't. Um, j just because I only have two ice towers, I should probably get more. It seems like a good idea to do so. Um, something I'm going to do, though, kind of soon, is get attack shooter. And more sp Well... Yeah, more specifically, a Ring of Fire, because the Ring of Fire upgrade for the attack shooter is just freaking amazing. 4-1, I got that already, uh, unlocked it, and it has been doing so good. It's amazing on battles and amazing in Balloons Bunker City, because it just pops so many balloons. So, I I've got a couple comments saying, you know, like, please don't breathe into your mic or something like that. Well, <laughs> before you uh, say that kind of stuff. Let me kind of explain to you my microphone situation. By the way, white balloons just got eaten by the spike factory. That's why I have it there. So my microphone situation. I'm currently using a Guitar Hero mic that is held up with a stand made out of toilet paper rolls. All right? Toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I, I'm just going to repeat that again. Toilet paper rolls. And um, it's attached together by scotch tape, I believe. Yeah, so it's it's like a special little stand here, I suppose. It works, kind of. It holds up. But here's the thing. This stand does not stand up on its own. No. It used to be able to stand up for by its own, but now it doesn't. So I have to lean it up against two textbooks on one side, another textbook on another side, and a Rubik's Cube, a 4x4 one, for, uh, for that uh, matter, directly in front of it. So so it doesn't fall over so take a minute to visualize that gotta admit that's pretty funny i actually did a video of that in my 5000 subscriber special get to see my face and what the <laughs> setup looks like and it's just absolutely hilarious it's great you should all check it out if you haven't already i mean most of you um have checked it out already but yeah for those who haven't yeah okay but anyways uh, uh, besides that little tangent um because this is a guitar hero mic it has decent quality, but it does not pick up volume that well. Right now, I'm literally yelling into my mic. Well, I mean, not quite yelling, but almost yelling into my microphone, and I'm maybe two inches away from it. That's not particularly good for my posture. Nope. But anyways, we've got the Ring of Fire, and look at this thing. It's destroying. It's getting so many pops now. It's just absolutely amazing, I guess. Uh, only thing it's getting by is camel balloons and like a couple other things. Speaking of camels, I might as well get mortar then. 
But uh, yeah, because I'm two inches away from my uh, microphone, is gonna pick up the uh, the breathing. Also, not to mention, like I said, this thing has issues picking up sound. What you guys are hearing are is not the exact sound of what's coming in. I actually basically have to double the sound volume in editing every single episode just because this picks up sound not very well. So yeah, that's why I have to go through every you know single time I want to record, and that is why you hear me breathing when I uh, when I film. So I'm sorry, I I might get a new bike eventually, but I don't exactly have the money to. Once I get partnered for YouTube eventually. That'll probably be in a while, but I mean, then I'd be able to afford stuff for that. But I'm pretty sure I'd be focusing more on, um, what, uh, just family stuff first. I don't know, hard to explain. But anyways, um, not too much difficult stuff has come. Like, only zebras max, but there are going to be moabs coming eventually. So what do we do against them? I'm guessing bomb shooters. Uh, darling guns are banned, so I mean, that's kind of out of the question, unfortunately. Balloon Jitsu, sure, although it's better on a long map, so I kind of, yeah, I, hmm, I could go for Balloon Jitsu, but I, I don't know, I honestly don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be worth it to me, I don't think I'd be able to pop a whole Moab in time. So what I am gonna do is, <sighs> man, this is tough, this is actually really tough, what am I gonna do for the Moabs, man? Oh boy. I'm probably just gonna spam bomb towers like crazy, then have like a bunch of spike factories in the back. Yeah, it's, it's my best shot. Just bomb tower spam. So I'll get you here. Maybe like four Moe Mollers would be enough. Do I want frag bombs? Actually, yeah, I think for this instance, I will get frag bombs since it's only Moab's max. Like, if it was BFB's max, then no, I wouldn't bother. But I might as well get this, plus the extra range boost is really nice, so I mean, why not? And here we go, guys, we're going into the cave. Oh, wait, no, never mind, that's Pirates of the, Car Pirates of the Caribbean. That's, uh, that's more of a lake thing than a cave. I don't know, anybody know any cave songs? Um, <laughs> nope. Nobody knows a song's song about caves. If anybody can actually think of a song that involves caves, I would be genuinely impressed. And I, you would be like my friend forever or something like that. Seriously, I, I, you probably would find it with like a Google search or something like that. But I mean, I don't know. We can look at the cave. There's like a bunch of rocks. There's probably a bear hiding somewhere way back there. It's probably where the balloons are coming th from. Speaking of the bear, um, the, um... It, it just came to my mind the uh, the bee shooter. What what is that called? Beekeeper. That's a bear. And it reminded me we should have agents in Bloom's Monkey City. I would really really love to see special agents implemented in this game, like a special building or something. But that'd be a lot of fun to work with. I don't know exactly how we'd do it, but it'd be pretty neat if I say so myself. I would enjoy uh, seeing agents. So yeah, we're getting to round 18. I have no idea when the Moabs are coming though. Agents could help here. I don't know. It, it, I'm not quite sure how it would work though. Would you like buy it with city cash and you get them for free here? Or would you still have to buy them for free here? Would they be like a normal tower? I'm not sure to be completely honest. Also, I'm going to get these up to... Oh shoot, I just leaked. I didn't even realize that. Crap. <laughs> Whoopsies. My bad. I probably should have been paying attention there. Whatever, so I'm going to get some Bionic Boomerangers now, just for cleanup in the back, because I think I, I'm okay for Moab popping power. Oh, shoot, so here comes the Moab. Um, I'm going to spike these just a bit. Road spike. Um, yeah, so road spike just these on this path. Also, some balloons are kind of getting far. <laughs> um, I'm spiking these as well, just so I don't die. Holy crap, so I'm down to 15 lives. This is going to be insane, guys. If... If, uh, I don't, I don't know, this is gonna be close. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come out of the cave alive. The balloons just might eat me up and, like, devour me. Like, you, you wonder, what exactly happens when you lose? Do just the balloons engulf the monkeys, or do they spread their diseases? Because a while ago, I hypothesized that, um, the reason monkeys defend are defending against the balloons is that the balloons are carrying diseases, like, I don't know, like AIDS or something, and they're spreading them to the monkeys at the end of the village, so these warrior monkeys are trying to uh, prevent AIDS, so uh, it's a possibility, <laughs> but I kind of doubt it. Anyways, though, I'm down to 28 road spikes, I should be fine, but what I do really like about road spikes, 
is well i mean having like 65 pairs is that well you're you're gonna need all 65 pairs and it's good to have that many pairs like holy crap i would much rather have 65 pairs of road spikes than like less pairs of road spikes if that makes sense at all hmm so here's the thing i wanted to afford the ring of fire but i just quite can't i'm gonna upgrade my spike factory instead and hopefully i should be fine although i'm gonna have to spike here a bit more spiking just a tad more uh I got, oh, oh god oh boy seven lives um shoot <laughs> now what do i sell you i'm genuinely thinking i'm selling the mortar i might if things get bad if things get bad i will sell the mortar and get better things like a ring of fire right here ring of fire here would help out quite a bit because that thing just has so much popping power but this is insane we have six lives we're on the last level of a moab cave tile and this is just medium so obviously i need to get a better strategy for this because i still have another cave top but luckily no more moabs came Phew. oh boy that that was uh tougher than i thought it'd be holy crap so let's see we're 11 minutes into that 725 city cash nine balloon stones you get special awards for beating the uh, cave tiles and also it looks like this guy revenged me because i got a bunch of money from him whoop whoop monkey v monkey so yeah i have 6,000 blue and tonium now because i'm city level 23 so yeah i get a bunch of that and i just keep raiding cash and stuff from people it's great my cash inflow is just amazing so you know what uh i'm not gonna end the episode just yet no looks like we have one more cave here and it's a ddt tile <laughs> i'll let that sink through ddt cave tile i can get 11 uh, Bloom stones for this and apparently it's only hard, but I doubt that I think the game's just lying right through its teeth So obviously I'm gonna need to come up with a different strategy, but what do I maybe want to try for um <sighs> The balloon jitsu first I'll try that all right. I don't know how this is gonna go But I'm gonna try balloon jitsu <sighs> Here it goes. Uh, okay. So I can start with the 1-3, or, oh, I, or no, 2, I can start with the 3-2 ninja if I wanted to. Although, I'm going to save money for the 3 or 4 one first. I don't know. This is going to be tough. DDT tile in the cave. No farms, like, know anything this is gonna be really tough so if i manage to beat this this would be absolutely amazing but here we go we got leads already look at this ugh leads uh, i'm gonna spike that yeah whatever i spiked it no big deal don't yell at me please and i, I i'm gonna continue pineappling these leads i'm not gonna get a mortar or anything like that yet i need to get the balloon jitsu and if i don't i'm kind of screwed yeah, because here's the thing, with DDT tiles and as things get higher and higher, Moebs will come earlier and earlier. I've gotten a Moeb as early as round 9 before, obviously not in a cave tile, but just in regular gameplay. So, I mean, you definitely want that Bloon Jitsu up. It will save your behind, <laughs> without a doubt, uh, against these Moebs. Oh boy, I don't know, thing guys, things are getting crazy, pinks. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to get that out of my system. I'm just really jittery. Well, not so much jittery, but just... It, it's like half determination, half fear of what's going to come out, really. I, I don't know. I got to pre be prepared for the worst, but I can't be prepared for the worst without my dartlings. Dartlings help out. I feel dartlings would do quite well on this map. Uh, I don't know why, it's just probably the power to aim wherever the heck you feel like it is probably good and not bad. But that's just my theory. Anyways, this little dart monkey has surprisingly helped. He's got 31 pups. Oh, the cute little guy. He probably sa he saved me uh, three pairs of road spikes then, which is essentially what it means. So, <laughs> yay dart monkey. That is why having a free dart monkey helps. Hopefully you guys could get that little free guy in your whatever. I don't know, it's useful in the early rounds to prevent you from, like, losing too many lives. Um, or, I mean, to prevent you from, like, you know, road spiking too much. But, <laughs> overall, it actually really doesn't do much. It's just cute and fun to have there. Maybe it's nice if you're, like, a 
an avid dart monkey user but otherwise it's kind of useless it's just the cute little perk that ninja kiwi decided to put in the game i should probably spike a bit more this is a ton of balloons by the way <sighs> wow i got the exact amount of road spikes i needed and yet i still don't have balloon jitsu once i have this all my problems will be over but will the balloons let me afford it because come on i only need 400 more dollar but i have to keep road spiking and that costs quite a bit of oh shoot this is gonna hurt this is really gonna hurt Oh shoot! Holy be Jesus! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, screw that. I'm losing so much money right now. Um, and there goes a few lives too. Now what? You know what? I have an idea. Well, uh, uh, I no, I don't. I really don't have an idea. Maybe I could go for a uh, ring of fire then. Let's see if I sell you. Well, no. Here's the thing, though. Ring of fire. I don't see it doing too well against one camos. Uh, shoot, this is gonna hurt. Holy crap. Um, I'm gonna have to start over here. I don't see myself even coming out here alive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this with this cave tile? Is it even possible? Okay, I'm gonna have to be a bit more creative this time around then. Um, maybe not the normal start. Maybe I'll try for like an ice bomb combo. Maybe. Or I could go for a dart monkey start. Uh, I don't know. I need to be able to pop lead somehow. <laughs> um, shoot. Okay, I'll put you right here. Right in the middle. One, two, there we go. Both of you, eh, hmm, do I want this? Hmm, alright, the question, do I want another ice tower or do I not? I'm gonna say no for now. Just so I can get a bomb tower. I'm going to try to go for a 3-0 cannon early on. Because those things pop a ton. Then I'll find something else. <laughs> excuse me. That can uh, pop a ton. Like that can pop the black balloons or something. Will this work? Uh, I don't know. To be completely honest. I'm actually kind of screwed against pinks that could come early on. Maybe I'll get like a ninja. Oh shoot. My free dart monkey. This will actually save me quite a bit. Duh. All right, so I got this cluster bombs up. Let's see if I can manage. Uh, dang it. <laughs> nope. Okay, so screw that. I kind of need the ice to pop the thing then. Um, well, I'll get a second ice then. Uh, then the only weakness I would have would be zebras, which I'll figure out eventually, right? I mean, you know, I figure out these things sooner or later, hopefully. All right, so let's get you right here. I maybe I won't even get you up to like popping but like just with the ice towers shredding together that could help quite a bit uh, I'm gonna leak a bit nope dart monkey saved me this guy's actually saved me a couple road spikes this time around the other time around not so much but now he's being a good pal so this might hurt a little bit unless if my ice towers are like perfect with their timings okay so what am I gonna do I'm gonna keep hope oh dang it Three blacks got through, by the way, guys. Three of them. That is not fun. So let's see. I got to get creative sooner or later, but just how? How? I wish they would allow boats here because boats are really, really good towers. Maybe I could go for a boomeranger and put him on strong? Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. You know what, let's, let's try that. You, here, strong. And maybe I could even get you up to Bionic Boomer, like, eventually. I don't know. I don't know, it's worth a shot, guys. And then maybe I could get a Spike Factory in, because Spike Factories are good defense, because they don't miss. Ever. Like, ever. And I'm gonna leak a bit, let's spike that. But soon I'll have the uh, Spike Factory in back, I won't even need to spike it. Um... Okay, so yeah, this guy's up actually helping out quite a bit. He's popped some blacks. Oh, whites. Yeah, he's going to need to pop the whites so the ice towers can freeze them. Because right now, probably the most useful towers here have been the ices. I will say. It's spike factory time. And oh my gosh, regrow whites. Uh, okay, I'm going to manage. I'm going to manage. Just stay calm, Tyler. Just stay calm and everything will be okay. I, I don't know why I am overreacting, but this tile is just flat out scary. Maybe I'll get more uh, zero one boom rangers if that's been helping me so much in the past, and put you on strong. 
No, yeah, this could totally work. I'm not even kidding. Just a bunch of fast attacking towers that, you know, maybe don't pop so much, but, like, they'll aid the uh, one really good uh, popping power tower, which is the bomb tower. So now I gotta start worrying a little bit about early Moabs. And, of course, eventually DDTs. I have to worry about all of that. Um, maybe I could get, like, a ring of fire or something. Oh yeah, shoot, I should probably do that first, then I can start worrying about the Moabs. Because something tells me the Moab won't come, like, too early, but it will, I mean, come at a probably dis inconvenient time. So let's see, where can I fit you? Here, I suppose. And I'll save up for that Ring of Fire. Hopefully I can actually get it this time, then it can help me so much. So 2,500 away. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I, I find it funny that he's going to be almost useless now, because the Ice Tower... When it freezes the balloons, it's just going to block the uh, attacks. But somehow, it's still getting pops. Somehow, some way. Maybe I could just spam 3-0 attack shooters for this level. Like, let's just spam them inside this circle. That is a possibility. If I do decide to try this again in the future, like, you know, say I failed this time around, that would be a good possibility. Also, I'm just going to spike a bit here because a lot of balloons are getting by. Yeah. Down to 50 road spikes. If a Moab comes this early on, I am screwed. Like, without a doubt. There's nothing I can do to save myself. But I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't come this early. Also, a bunch of zebras and stuff. I'm gonna maybe, like, spike these and stuff. Zebra regrows. Shoot. Um. Okay. I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> and I am so close to the Ring of Fire. Like, so close. And I got it. Oh my gosh. We might be safe now, guys. Just a bit. Just for a little bit. We're s the Monkey Kingdom is safe temporarily. Temporarily until we can figure out how we're going to defeat these Moabs. How? How? Maybe. Just maybe. This could work. It's crazy, I know. But we should. We could start getting up spike factories. Well, I mean, it's kind of ideal since you need those to defeat DDTs. But it's a good start. So I'm going to put it right here. Because sooner or later, all balloons will pass over here. Or actually, you know, maybe I should put this in a slightly better spot. Right. Here. Eh. Actually, never mind. I am going to go with here. Even though half the tax will go on here, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. I am going to get white hot spikes so a single lead doesn't just destroy, like, all the spikes. Like, hey, bro, nice spikes there. Mind if I plow right through... <laughs> Oh, it also makes that annoying sound like ding 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 ding. Kind of sounds like what the fox says. Ding 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 ding. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna get Moab Shredder Spikes because that's what I have, and that's what's gonna help me against the Moabs. If I can build up a large enough pile of spikes, all Moabs will get shredded. Of course, the remains are gonna be the problem. Yeah, it's really hard dealing with the Moabs remains. Um, especially when multiple Moabs come. Because here's the thing. When a single Moab comes, it'll wreck the ceramics, and the ceramics will shred these spikes to death. There will be no spikes after these Moabs come. And then the second Moab, well, it's just going to waltz right through. And I'll be like, well, crap. <laughs> what do I do now? Moab Shredder Spikes, $3,000. Um, yeah. I'm going to probably want a village eventually, too. It just thinks that we're not allowed to use farms for this level. How is it possible to be defeat DDTs on here? I mean, I don't know. I honestly don't. But I'm getting g seriously close to affording this Moab Shredder Spikes. Like, holy crap. And I got it. The nice thing about Moab Shredder Spikes is that its speed increases rapidly after you buy it, which is great. I'm going to get a second one back here to deal with more Moabs. Because, I mean, the more of these, the better. You want these all over the map or the track however i only have three of them and one's back here i'll probably sell him eventually to get um, more moab charge spikes but that's only gonna be once these two are fully upgraded so i gotta get the two three oh here's our first moab let's see how if we can manage it uh i'm gonna spike that just a bit and then i'll let my ring of fire clean up so we got that we got the first moab here we're actually doing better this time than uh the time before However, things are getting a bit scary now. Let's just hope our Ring of Fire uh, ice combo will work well. You in the back, don't fail me now. I'm relying on you. So we defeated three Moabs already. Make That's three. Oh, make that four. Four. Up. Oh, five. Keep feeding me money, big boys. Keep feeding me the money. <laughs> this is working. I, I genuinely cannot believe this is working. 
So, I mean, it's definitely a good starter strat, but will I be able to take down a DDT? That is the question. And luckily no BFBs have come. I hope none come. Because that would that would be a disaster. Alright, keep going with this. And here's the thing though, I have to get like a village or something, because I can't or or a mortar. Because I mean these guys have to clean up. Out of the DDT comes like six Camarigro ceramics. Spike factories cannot clean those up. You need like an Arctic wind or something. Oh okay. Um this might hurt. Uh, yeah, a few too many balloons there. Uh, uh, did I save it? No, I lost a few lives. Whatever, not too big a deal. You know, I, I, I it doesn't. <laughs> lives aren't too big a concern to me. It's always nice to get no lives lost, but if it's on a really tough tile where you know you would prefer to save your road spikes, it'd be better. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a sec. Did anybody see that BFB up there? Teleports over there. Okay, BFB, I know what you're up to silly tricks and holy crap um shoot i got a whole bfb here and my all my uh tax just got eaten up or they just got ate up or something um crap all right here's what i'm gonna have to do i see myself taking down this uh bfb hopefully you know in some way but i'm gonna have to sell you get you so i can survive oh crap bad timing Shoot, just keep spiking or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, no. No, the BFB. How is that even possible? What the What the heck? Not not even Blade Maelstrom could save me. I I don't know. Maybe Spike Storm. You know, here's the thing. It's that is a possibility of something I could get. Spike Storm. Um you know, eventually in the future that is a fourth tier upgrade that is very worth it. Whoa. Well, okay, that was weird, but yeah, I guess I haven't gotten it, but holy crap, that was insane. Hey, you know what, at least we got one of them, and hey, we got full balloontonium, so you know, I think we should just attack some random person uh, in uh, quick battles, because I mean, why not? Let's do this. We also got a few bone stones from the other cave, so yeah, let's close this out with a monkey v monkey assault attack. Just a random guy. Oh, we could. Although, I'm actually going to keep trying until I get someone who I can use almost all my balloontonium on. Thunderbirds 101. You know what? That's close enough. And also, let's make this a camo assault to make this super hard for him. Good luck, Thunderbirds 101. You're gonna need it. Let's go! So, that's gonna be about it. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I guess I would really appreciate it if you guys did start liking the videos just just so I know well whether you actually enjoyed it or not. Because really, I've been kind of in the dark lately of you know support and all that you know like and or comment would be great i just want to know how the heck i'm doing you know if there's something you don't like about the video and you want to let me know in the comment uh, like let me know so i can improve and you know like not do whatever you don't like again or something like that or i don't know just any general feedback would be great likes comments whatever you can give i do appreciate the support it keeps me going it's pretty much the reason why i'm going to be uploading two videos per day like don't forget that guys it's a lot of time put into these videos and stuff. Hope you can take the half second it takes to press that single button bu like button. So anyways, short rant away. Thanks all you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little man cave or whatever. That will <laughs> How do you beat this map? If I ever figure out how to beat this map, it, it is gonna be a video, cause like Yeah, I don't I don't see myself beating in the future. But whatever. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and catch you all in the next episode of Balloons Monkey City.